you'd like to see a couple of ladybirds having it off. I hope they're very fertile and have large numbers of offspring. Um, we haven't been using a lot of pesticide this year. I think we've been, been two sprays of uh, fungicide. Oh, look at that, go for it. Um, two, um, if there are any children watching, fine. Uh, we've used two lots of fungicide so far and um, one combined shot of fungicide and insecticide and it was that fungicide and insecticide which um, uh, wiped out the, uh, pretty well wiped out the uh, chafer bugs which were a very very severe uh, pest the last two years. This year they only destroyed about 10-15% of the crop whereas last year it was 50%. Um, and uh, they've, they've, done, they've done some damage, but we've knocked them back a lot. Um, but as, as people may know, using any sort of insecticide reduces beneficial predators, such as the ladybirds. Um, ladybirds eat nasty pests like aphids, and they eat red spider mites. And at the moment, the two big problems facing the orchard are red spider mites and um, uh, the drought. And the two things unfortunately are feeding on each other because the um, I've been reading about red spider mites since we had such a lot of problems with them. The red spider mite uh, favours hot, dry conditions, and we're now having the hottest, driest summer uh, in living memory. Well, so in living memory, people are comparing this hot, dry summer with uh, 1976, which incidentally is the year Julie and I were married. Yes, we've been together a long time, and. Um, uh, it was, remember how dry and dusty it was then, well this year is working out a bit like that. Very dry and dusty, and this is favouring the red spider mite. And also, another problem, I've never seen Lady Rose doing this before. Um, another problem is that, um, uh, you know, obviously the trees aren't growing so well with drought. They can't take, when, when there's no water hardly, they can't take up nutrients in the soil so you can get trace element deficiencies as well. And a lot of the leaves here are just really rather... I think we'll leave these ladybirds alone for now. I hope they lay a lot of eggs. Um, the, the, the leaves are looking a little bit dried out. The leaves are just looking a little bit sour, a bit stale. Um, some of the trees are less badly affected by it. And they've got the nice sort of glossy green that they should have. And what we're doing really is just hoping it's going to rain soon and we're leaving, uh, we're not using any insecticide. Thankfully we don't look as though we need to at the moment. Uh, the, um, uh, the biggest pest we would be expecting at this time of year is the codling moth. We put traps out for, to catch them to indicate when they're arriving and we haven't seen them. The codling moth hasn't really been appearing. Which is great because we don't want to spray. A, because we hate spraying. B, because it costs a lot of money. And um, C, very big C. Uh, that's enough, ladybug. Good to see them. Be, be fruitful and multiply and eat lots of pests. Um, uh, so where was I? Um, yeah, and C, because uh, we want to see a building up of the population of beneficial predatory and parasitic um, uh, life forms, especially ladybirds, because they, uh, their larvae particularly eat a lot of um, Red spider mite. I can't show you a red spider mite because they're too small to be seen with the naked eye. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I think it's a, I, you might be able to see just a bit. I tip my finger. Um, you probably can't see a couple of tiny dots, almost too small to see, just like the dot made by a very fine pencil. Those, yeah, I just squashed them. Yeah, I think those were red spider mites. They, like a lot of the other pests, they live on the underneath of the, um, the apples and they suck the life out of the leaves. Um, there's no sort of good chemical control at all. This is what the earth's like. On the uh, 5th of July uh, I am um, seriously wondering about putting in some irrigation. I've seen apple orchards irrigated with tubes in the south of France and I thought well okay then maybe they need that here but we wouldn't go for that um, but increasingly people are uh, putting in irrigation in orchards in England which is something that you know would have been laughed to scorn 
years ago, but you can see what this ground's looking like. You know, we, we do get um, uh, gorse fires in England. There was a bad fire in Dorset last week, it's on the news. Um, some of the trees are looking better than others. And this tree over here, this uh, Yarlington Mill uh, cider apple, this is what the leaves should look like. You know, nice green, deep green, glossy. Um, this is what a lot of the leaves actually do look like. A bit pale, a bit yellowy, just not really looking that fantastic. And that's uh, red spider mites. So mainly we can do, hope for some rain and uh, encourage, do everything we can to encourage um, the natural beneficial insects, the ladybirds, and um, hope that that pair I just saw mating. I uh, hope that film comes out right. I've never seen a film of ladybirds mating before. And I uh, hope they have lots of eggs and they hatch out and they eat lots of uh, red spider mites. And uh, we're un earnestly hoping uh, yeah, we won't need to use any more pesticide at all this season. One good thing about the drought uh, is it knocks a scab back because you have the filthy apple scab, which is one of the many pests that can wipe the whole orchard out. Um, the apple scab. Um, the early insecticide has uh, apparently wiped it out. Uh, there is no sign of any scab in the orchard now, which is fantastic. So we won't need to use any more insecticide. Um, the codling moth don't appear to have come in. Maybe we hit them hard last year. Um, if the codling moth come in, if we start to catch codling moths in our traps, I don't think we will now, but if we did, then we'd have to make a balanced decision whether to spray against the codling moth um, and knock out possibly some of the beneficial insects which are our only defence really against uh, the red spider mite or whether to let them go and accept the fact that um, some of our apples might end up with maggots in uh, which, you know, it's very difficult selling apples to the public because they don't want your fruit to have been sprayed but they also want it to be completely perfect and untouched by insects and, um, and uh, fungal pests so you can see the line we have to tread it's difficult but that's life